Hey everyone, in this video we'll be answering this question. Uh, so I have a 30 sided dice A and a 20 sided dice B and I win A dollars if A is greater than B and I lose B dollars if B is less than or equal to A. What is the expected payoff? I uh, note that A dollars just is the number we roll with the with dice A and B dollars is the number we roll with dice B. Um, and so yeah, have a think about it and I'll be right back with the solution. All right, so to solve this problem, we'll consider two cases. Uh, one where A is greater than 20, so where the 30-sided dice, the number we roll from the 30-sided dice is greater than 20, and one where it's less than or equal to 20. Um, and so for case one, we have A is greater than 20. And what's the expected payoff if A is greater than 20? Well, since the 20-sided dice can't have a number that's less than or equal to A, um, we will always win if A is greater than 20. And so the expected payoff Expected payoff is just the mean of all the, the numbers that are greater than 20. So it's uh, 21 plus 22 plus all the way up to 30 and then divided by 10 um, since, you know, we're taking the expect the expectation. Um, and so this is, I mean, if you if you add this and this, um, if you add the pairs, it's just five times uh, 51 over 10, um, which is what, 255 over 10. All right, so we can actually write this down here. We'll have a uh, case one and uh, a is equal to 20. This just implies that the expected payoff is 255 over 10. Okay, let's move on to case two. Case two is where uh, a is less than or equal to 20. And so let's think about what happens if a is less than or equal to 20. Well, either a can be greater than b, or in which case we win a dollars, or a is less than or equal to b, in which case we lose b dollars. Sorry, if a, if a is greater than b, then we win a dollars, yeah. Um, and so we can notice that the probability that a is greater than b is equal to the probability that b is greater than a, just by symmetry. And uh, this means that the expected payoffs must be the same too, since if uh, a is greater than b, we win a dollars, but if b is less greater than a, then we lose b dollars. So in this case, the expected payoff is actually zero. Um, if either of those, these two, like if we take all the cases where a is greater than b and b is greater than a, then the expected payoff will be zero just by symmetry. And so the other, only other case we have to consider is, um, is where a is equal to b. All right, and so now we can just calculate the expected payoff given that a is equal to b. So we'll just call this e, and then the expected payoff given that a is equal to b, well, we can just enumerate all the possibilities. So the first one is that they're both one, so a is equal to b is equal to one. Um, and then we multiply it by one since that's the expected payoff in the earth. We lose that much in that case, um, plus the probability that a is equal to b is equal to two uh, times two. And actually, yeah, let me multiply this whole thing by, uh, was multiplied by negative one since we actually lose this money. And so we uh, add all this until uh, the probability that a is equal to b is equal to 20 times 20. Um, and so, well, what is all this? Well, the probability that a is equal to one is one over 20. And, uh, or sorry, here obviously we're conditioning on the fact that a is less than or equal to 20. So if a is less than or equal to 20, well then the probability that a is equal to one is one over 20. Um, if b, the probability that b is equal to one is also one over 20. So this is one over 400. Um, same thing for this, it's also one over 400. Um, sorry, 400. And all the way here, it's also one over 400. So we can actually factor out the common term, 1 over 400. So this is 1 over 400 times uh, 1 plus 2 plus all the way up to 20. Okay, now here we can apply the same trick as before. Uh, we'll just add, add the pairs. Uh, there's 10 pairs, and each of the pairs are 21. So this is uh, 1 over 400 times 210. Okay, and so this is, yeah, it's 21 over 40. And so if a is equal to b, we lose our expected payoff is, well, yeah, we just multiply by negative 1. We get negative 21 over 40. All right, so now our total payoff is just the sum of these, uh, these two payoffs, but weighted by the probability that a is greater than 20 and a is less than or equal to 20. So the probability that a is greater than 20 is just 1 over 3. Um, and then obviously we have times 255 over 10. And uh, plus the probability that a is less than or equal to 20 is 2 over 3, like this. And then we just multiply it times negative 21 over 40. Uh, so actually we can just subtract by this. Um, and this is actually equal to 8.15, which is our final answer. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed that problem. If you did, please consider subscribing, and I'll hope to see you next time.